Viewer discretion is advised. Boom, perfect timing. We get a call on you. We got to ID you. Mm -hmm. So, what's I'm your not, name? I'm not doing nothing wrong. I want to make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Don't reach for Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Don't reach for how, how am I don't resisting? Resist. You're how? resisting a search. How am I resisting? Put I'm not doing nothing. Hey. Come on. Man, I did not do nothing, man. This is bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is is somebody watching that person? Oh, my God. I did not do nothing. Sir, help me, please. Help me. Help me. I can't breathe! Help me! Joshua Frazier received a phone call from his female cousin who was locked out of her boyfriend's trailer home and needed his help. When he arrived at the location, Mr. Frazier parked his vehicle and noticed a neighbor watching him. Although he waved in a friendly manner, the neighbor quickly went inside and closed their front door. Unbeknownst to Mr. Frazier, that same neighbor would later contact the Lufkin Police Department to report what she considered suspicious activity. The woman claimed to have seen a suspicious black man with a child in the backseat of his vehicle, appearing possibly intoxicated or under the influence of drugs. 911, we're in an emergency. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, me and my kids, we said. Mm -hmm. And there's a guy in my yard. He looked like he high. It looked like he got a baby in there. He, he walked in his face. I went outside to see. He waved at me. But okay, I what's your address? Yes, ma'am. Are And he's in my driveway. Okay, is he white, black, or Hispanic? He's black. He's in a silver suburban, an older model. Okay, and, and what, is, like he, what is he doing? He gets in my yard like he hired something. He got somebody in there. He's wiping his face. He done cut his truck off. He has a baby? Look like it's kid in the back seat. Okay. Stay on the line, ma'am. He, do you still see him? Yes, he, he still fit. He cut, keep cutting the vehicle off and on, putting it in reverse, putting it back in park. Okay, stay on the line with me, okay? Do not hang up. Okay. I, I just thought I'm on the phone with the police because he hired something. 5952 309 with the police. He hired. Have a subject that's in a silver suburban. Cars advise him he looks intoxicated and there's possibly also a child. I don't know, my brother. What is he doing now, ma'am? He looks he look like he's going to sleep now. Okay, so he looks like he's going to sleep? Yes, I don't know him. Where is he at now? He's in my driveway inside the truck. He's parked in your driveway? With the vehicle off, yes, ma'am. Vehicle is off? Yes. Okay, is he sleeping now? He looks like he keeps going in and out. He keeps looking up his... Okay, stay in line with me. Caller is advising okay. that it looks like he's trying to go to sleep. He's parked in her driveway with the vehicle off. She's advising she does not know him. What is your name, ma'am? What's your last name? Davis. Do you see a license plate or anything, Miss Davis? Um, let me go in my room and see. Because I can't see from my you see My complainant is Chrissy Davis. Uh... I can't see it from here. I would have to go out. That's okay. Don't go outside. Go out. No, don't do that if you don't feel comfortable. It's okay. Hold on. My friend Just, what is it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Listen, they're on their way. If he leaves or does anything different before they get there, you call me back on 911, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. -bye. okay bye.
In response to the call, officers from the Lufkin Police Department arrived and immediately demanded Mr. Frazier's identification. Confident in his innocence and aware that he had not committed any wrongdoing, Mr. Frazier refused their request. Unfortunately, this decision led to an escalation of the situation, with the officers resorting to physical force by grabbing Mr. Frazier, deploying pepper spray, handcuffing him, and ultimately arresting him. Well, I had got a call from my little cousin, where my wife and little cousin was going to pick her up. She had locked herself out of her out of boyfriend's house. I went to go get her. Missed for me going to get her. My uh, shifting cable came a loop from my transmission, so I couldn't go in reverse. I couldn't back up. So I was just driving up to see if I can try to find me a way out, but I couldn't. So and as I pulled up, at, a, at a, about about four trailer houses down, I ended up pulling up in the driveway and I waved at whoever it was at the door. They closed the door. The next thing I know, officers came and they started asking me questions. Through my analysis of the police reports, I gained a clearer understanding of the roles played by the different officers during this incident. According to the provided police reports, Officer Caleb Forrest of the Lovkin Police Department, along with Constable Tom Selman of Angelina County, were the first responders to arrive on scene. It is important to note that the body cam footage currently being viewed on your screen belongs to Officer Caleb Forrest. Notably, Officer Forrest is the same officer who deployed pepper spray against Joshua Frazier during the encounter. Fifty-eight Lincoln Tom Young zero four six five. How's it going, man? All right. Oh, you stay out here? No, I'm. Uh, thing it came loose. I'm waiting on the dude to come fix it to put it in reverse. All right. So the guy that uh. Yeah, I just got off the phone. With him. I know she you, probably called you <laughs> Where did he stay at? Oh, uh, he coming off on the bus. Why y'all meeting here? Oh, cause I can't put it in reverse. Thing. Okay, what brought you here though? You say you don't stay here. What brought you over here? Oh, I, was, <laughs> I came to pick up my little cousin. And then when I went to try to put it in reverse, it went going in reverse. Okay. So this is it. So he finna come. Your little cousin? Is it her? Yeah. Okay, where'd she stay at? Oh, she was in the front. She was in the front? Okay. You don't have any weapons or anything like that on you, do you? No. Keep your hands up over here. Put your hold hand on, up there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't. Just let's let's just, yeah. just hold on. Let's just hurt and show us you don't have any weapons. No, I ain't got no weapons. No. All right. The constable asked, said something about chicken welfare of the child, which I didn't understand. And one of the officers, they just asked, was saying something about me being intoxicated. Didn't understand that. And the other officer was saying that I wasn't supposed to be there. It was just too many questions getting answered. I mean, getting shot at me at once. So I was kind of confused. I was already confused on why they was there, but when I saw them, all I do was going to be crazy. I can see something bulging over there. It's making sure <laughs> don't reach in your pockets or anything like that. Um, what's your name? Hmm? What's your name? No, this is uncalled for. <laughs> no, we get a call on you. We got to ID you. Hmm? So what's not, your name? I'm not doing nothing wrong. Is this your property? Why don't you want to give us your name? Because you, I'm not, I'm not doing some tickets or something. I'm not doing nothing wrong. We're just responding to a call from citizens that once said there was some problems over here. Oh, it's yeah, not no problem. As you can see, it's not mm -hmm. a problem. Okay. I'm not causing any problems. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not hooping and hollering. I'm not causing any problems. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing none of that. Okay. So well, I'm waiting. Officer needs your name for his report. Is there a problem with that? Are you wanted for something? Or are you a fugitive from justice? When they were asking you for ID, why didn't you give them your ID? Well, I knew I had a warrant for some traffic tickets. So basically, I didn't want to go to jail behind some little tickets. But I knew the consequences, they were going to rough me up like always. That's why I was like putting my hands on my hip. It always go to like some unnecessary stuff dealing with them. I don't know, the video speaks for itself. It really attacked me. It started talking about things poking out. They want to search me, frisk me for weapons and all that. 
But I, I was telling the truth basically about everything. Me knowing that I ain't do nothing wrong and the reaction I was going to get behind me just saying, Joshua Frazier, this is how they treat me, period. When he asked me to put my hands up, as soon as I put my arms up, they was going to attack me anyway. You saw the, how the motion was, how everything, when I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, they kind of stepped back. As soon as I put my arms up, it was going to attack me. I have a question for the constable, though, in the midst of the, him saying that he saw something poking out, and he was right there on that side where he said that he seen something poking out. The constable never stated anything about any object or anything poking out. As they were, as I was, as they were asked to be questioned, you know, the constable, he was on the, my left-hand side, and the other two officers, or three officers, they was on my right-hand side. And the one guy, he was like, well, I see some budging out. If the guy on this side, on my left-hand side, didn't say anything and didn't see anything poking out, you see what I'm saying? Because I had officers all around me, but the officer that was on my uh, on my right-hand side, he the one that said he saw some budging out on my left-hand side. But the constable on my left-hand side, he never referred to seeing anything poking out. Mm. He was, what he say, he was checking on the child welfare, welfare of the child or something like that. And was there a child with you? I mean, she was a teenager. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, in the back. As indicated in the police reports, the officer positioned to the left of Officer Caleb Forrest in the footage is Officer Jeremy Charvos, identified by his badge number 236. You have a child in the car with you? I heard a check welfare on the child. Find out who the people are. It's not that going on. Somebody involved. What, what is? I mean, was there a reason why you don't want to give your name? Huh? Why don't you want to give your name, man? I mean, we're this to right. take you we're five minutes to get out. So we can go. You I, give just, time, we can I just told you. I have not you, committed a crime, sir. It's not a we crime. It's not an offense. It's not and nothing going on. We had a call concerning you being in this vehicle and possibly being intoxicated. Man, yeah. So right now you're yeah. detained. You're being yeah, detained. Am, come on, I, no, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir, so no, sir. As far as There's that goes, no, you have to give us your name, or you go no. to jail for failed ID. That's where we're at right now. Okay. I if you were walking on the sure. sidewalk yeah, or something, do, that's do, one thing. I, do, I have some tickets. Okay, well we're not worried about some tickets, man. Class C tickets, traffic stuff. Yeah. We're not worried about that. Shifting focus to the right side of your screen, the police report identifies Officer David Cross, or should I say Detective David Cross. It seems he was promoted after this incident. Detective Cross is observed in the footage moving around or behind Mr. Frazier's vehicle, ultimately being the one responsible for placing Mr. Frazier in handcuffs. What's your name? There's a few Class C tickets that cost you 30, 40 minutes in the jail. It's a whole lot different than a failed ID fugitive charge, which is a misdemeanor A. I'm not doing no wrong. So, if so do you want a misdemeanor A charge or you want some traffic ticket charges? Because we're not worried about traffic tickets. We just need to identify you so we can do this investigation and get out of here. What are you investigating? A investigation is... call for service that has got four officers you, here you, now. you already admitted that you don't have any reason being here other than your car's and not working. I mean, I'm if not somebody else is... Also, okay. you get caught when there's a intoxicated. How am so, I possibly... Now we're Come looking on. at a PI no, charge. No, 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 sir. No, sir. How can I be okay. intoxicated? Why do you not want to cooperate? What is the big deal about not saying your name? I'm gonna do the pattern. I mean, I, he I, wouldn't I, let me do the pattern. Okay. I wanna make sure you don't have your weapons on. Don't no, reach no, for Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't reach for it. How am I don't resisting? Resist. You're how? resisting a search. I'm not resisting, put I'm not doing hand, nothing. Hey, just put your hands behind Man, I am not doing oh, nothing. Don't say you are. I'm not doing nothing, man. I am not doing nothing. Hey. I'm not doing nothing. We were just gonna pass you down for weapons, man. Now, I just, you, he just asked me for some weapons. Well, now you're under arrest. Right, you're shot. You had a ball in your pocket. Dude, you just stood up here and said that you see the Prince C9 and then I have no weapons on me, man. Man, come on, man. I'm not doing nothing, dude. Man, stop it, man. No I'm, not no no I'm, not I'm not doing nothing. No reason. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing Quit resisting. I'm, I'm out. Quit resisting. You're about to get sprayed. If you don't stop, you don't stop, you're going to get relax. sprayed. Relax. I'm not doing You're about to get sprayed. You're doing something now. No, I'm not. Stop. You're about I'm about to stop. Relax. You get it? You're under arrest, man. Under arrest for what? For resisting search. I, wait, man, you just, man, I did not do nothing. Just follow the officers. Man, why are you acting man. like this? Come on. Man, I did not do nothing, <laughs> man. This is bad. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Is yeah. Somebody watching that person. Oh, my God, I did not do nothing. 
I did not do nothing. I did not do nothing. Swipe. Around oh, the car. God, I did not do that. Around to the car. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Just calm down, okay? You're just making the situation worse. No weapon. I don't go that way. All right, let's go. Come on, head back to the car. Did I get you, Charvos? Huh? Did I get you? <coughs> Sorry, man. Okay. What's your name? <coughs> you pat down, Zosa. I'm going to double check him again <laughs> to make yeah. sure. Go ahead. Do you have anything illegal on you, man? No. I okay. did not do nothing. <laughs> All right. Good. You get that sack. Alright, we're gonna take a seat in my car, man. Have a second. <coughs> I was tired of fighting them. They just wouldn't give a name. Uh, nope. Well, as soon as he went to pat him down, he started fighting us. Sorry if I got you. Hey, Jeremy, I got some water in there. I'll get you. What's his name? Josh. Frazier? It's going to be uh, King John John 0441. King John John 0841. Joshua Frazier. What's the deal with him? Hey, I guess I'm going to, if y'all figure out here, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get him I'll follow you over. decontaminated. Hey, I'm going to follow him. What are your thoughts on your cousin talking to the police in the manner that she did? after you had already been maced and, and attacked by these officers and arrested. I, I was saying, I, I just know that she said that she was scared at the time. <laughs> Sir, help me, please, help me, help me. I can't breathe, help me. Sir, help me, help me, sir, please, help me, 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 sir, please. Please, 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 help me, help me, please. Help me! Joshua Frazier, 795. Oh. Huh? Is he agitated? Joshua Frazier. Oh, yeah, he's agitated. Joshua Frazier? Mr. Hey, Frazier? Hey, Hold on, Mr. Frazier. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, on. Let's help you. We know what you got on you, man. Let's help you. We're going to get the nurse to get the help. We're going to get, get it wiped help. up, okay? It's going to burn for a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Hey, just stay calm with us, all right? Okay. If you want to sit, you can sit. I don't need it. I don't need it. We're going to push it, but you need to sit. No. Please, come on with the water hose. Come on, come on, come on. Step over here. Come on, 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 for class C's. Yeah, eight class C's. For tickets. Right there. Put your hand up. Right there. 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 First time ever doing it, but you know what? We had three guys trying to fight this guy. No. Once you were taken to jail, what happened next? resisting arrest that I was fighting them, which I I was as you can see. On the video, I wasn't doing no fighting. I wasn't resisting or anything. They didn't even give me for failure to identify. They just got me. I think they just got me for res resisting mm -hmm. arrest. So they claimed that you didn't ID yourself, but didn't even charge you for failure to ID. I ain't get no failure to ID to identify. But like you said, they weren't worried about the traffic tickets or anything. If y'all not worried about the traffic tickets or anything, why did y'all rough me up and make me? Everything they asked me, I gave them my answer to. I just didn't give them my name. They asked me that I have, was it because of the warrant? I said, yeah, I had traffic. I stated that I had warrants for traffic.
Joshua Frazier was charged with resisting arrest. Fortunately, on that same day, Mr. Frazier was able to secure his release from custody by paying a $15,000 bond. During our interview, I asked Mr. Frazier if he had filed a complaint against the officers involved in his case. He explained that, based on his own past experiences, he believed it would be pointless to do so. Intrigued by his statement, I took it upon myself to investigate the matter further. I sought to understand how the Lufkin Police Department Internal Affairs handles complaints, and whether they would accept my own complaint. Here is what transpired. Hello? Yes, hello. Hey, this is Corporal Jackson, Lufkin Police Department. Yes, I think I just left a voicemail for you. My name's Andre, and I wanted to file a complaint uh, against several officers of the department. Okay. I don't have the names of the officers. I just have the date of when it happened. Uh, maybe you're familiar with it. So it happened on July 26th of 2019. And what they end up doing is uh, and they end up pepper spraying him and they end up arresting him. Pretty disgusting what these officers ended up doing to this man. Okay, I, I think I know which, which case you're talking about. But yeah. as far as the disposition on it is, I don't know what the disposition on it is as far mm -hmm. as the criminal part of it. I don't have it right here in front of me. I know what you're talking about as mm -hmm. far as the internet video. Um, to my understanding, it was deemed that they didn't violate any policies and that there's there's no complaint to be filed and uh, if there was someone to be filed it would be the victim that would be the one that would file the complaint so, so it's been it's been reviewed um you know obviously by the worldwide but it, it's also been reviewed by our department it's been deemed that there's no policy violations so you're saying that even as a witness i'm unable to complain only the only the only complaint can be the victim no I'm not telling you that. I'm just telling you if you wanted to file a complaint, I'm just telling you where the outcome's going to go. I'm on the professional standards part of it. You're not mm -hmm. the only one that's ever called about it before. So, I mean, we've had, if there's been a complaint on it, it's been unfounded. So to open up another complaint on it, to unfound it, would, I'm just giving you the answer to it. Right, right. So are you the one that does the investigation? I do do some of them, yes, me and another. Or did you investigate this this uh, particular incident? No, I did not. Can I file a complaint against these officers? I want to know like their names. I want to know what the outcome of that complaint was. Yeah, I want to have a paper trail of this. Is it where you can come in and fill it out? Because we have a, a written complaint form. I mean, are we allowed to do it over the phone? I'll take your name and all that stuff and, and look into everything that I can look into. I certainly will to see okay. if there's any policy violations within the Lufkin Police Department. I don't do any criminal investigations. I do policy violations. I see. If, you, so, if you're wondering about a criminal investigation, you'd have to contact like the Texas Rangers or the FBI. Right. I do policy violations. Okay. So you just you just want to file a complaint because you feel like the guy was his rights were violated. That's basis for a complaint, right? If you felt like yours was, then yeah, you were welcome to file the complaint. Right. Do you want to try to file it third party on behalf of someone else? Sure, sure. I mean, I would love to file a complaint against these officers uh, on behalf of this individual who apparently didn't file a complaint. And I want to know the status of the investigation. I can't give you the status of any investigation because we're a civil service organization. I can't give you any information on any internal investigation. That's, that's Texas civil service law. I'm just saying we can't give out any information under a civil service law. And mm -hmm. yeah. I can't give out any information on an investigation. I do want to file a complaint against these officers. Is there an email I can reach you at so we can document when I spoke with you and who I spoke to? I think we're doing that now, but I do have a, an email, yes. You can send it to kjackson at luskinpolice.com. Kjackson. Or you can, send it, you can send it to the other internal investigator who is John Davis. It's jdavis at luskinpolice.com. Jay Davis. And you said it was Adrian? Andre. A-N-D-R-E. Andre. A-N-D-R-E? Yes. Well, I got your, I got your phone number. I'm going to get your email because you're going to email it to me, right? Yes, I'm going to email it to you. 
Okay, and then I got your phone number. Is there any way that I could get the information on who these officers are? Especially the officer that pepper sprayed him. Not if I open up an investigation, no. Not if I open up an investigation, not until it's concluded and done. Will you guys give me a call tomorrow, or is there any more information that you need from me? I'm going to email you right now, notifying that we spoke. Yeah. Just, just email me, and we can go from there. Okay, perfect. All right. Here. Yep, thank you. Take care. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Immediately after concluding the phone call, I promptly sent an email documenting the time of my call and detailing my written complaint to Corporal Kevin Jackson. Despite my repeated attempts to reach out via email to Corporal Kevin Jackson, I have yet to receive any response from him or any acknowledgement of my complaint from the Lubkin Police Department. Unfortunately, it seems highly unlikely that I will ever receive a response. In summary, the, the Lufkin Police Department is harassing you and your husband for years. For years, for a long time. This has been going on for a long time. We have a record of traffic tickets. Like I said, we have been stopped. I have a record. Yeah, you have a record. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just like since I've been with him, I just added to it, I guess. But yeah, we have a lot of traffic tickets with the laws and we have been arrested. And it, it's really because of the side of town we own. When you say that, what do you mean by that? Just for the audience sake, why do you think you guys are getting pulled over and being targeted? Because they like say this is a drug infested area. So pretty much we are stereotyped. We are discriminated against because we don't say these other places where there's not majority black people at. See what I'm saying? So the law stay on this side, arresting people and harassing people. I know people that just got tickets and for just being on the sidewalk. Not being on the sidewalk. You get a ticket for not being on the sidewalk. What, you know what, what I'm saying? So I know it's just not right. But what was you, you as his wife, what was your reaction when you first saw Oh, him? Lord. When, I, when they called me and told me. I'm trying to get the camera together. My reaction on his arrest, I already knew he was going to get arrested as soon as he got pulled over. So that came, he didn't even get pulled over. As soon as the law showed their face, I knew he was going to go to jail. And that's, and that's sad, but it's true. It's very true. They have been harassing him for a long time. And since I've been with him, we've been getting pulled over and everything. I tried to see if we could get a lawyer for him. We had no help, hope of getting a lawyer. I talked to a man, a lawyer in that, and he told me that they are tied into it with the Lufkin Police Department, so they're not going to defend us on that issue. The lawyer told me that he will not fend for him because they are tied, they are too tied into it with Lufkin LPD. So he didn't want to take the risk. Yeah. So they're, they're, they are our friends. Uh, they, they, they're, together. Yeah, they're, they work together. And he's not going to take that risk. So we have been having a hard time finding a lawyer for his behalf. How can people people watching this, what, what do you want them to know in terms of how can they help you guys? I can't really just say how they can help us. They can support us by telling us, letting us know how you feel. Do you feel like this is right or do you feel like it's wrong? Which I feel like it's wrong. I feel like, yes, when it comes down to it, we do get treated different. In November of 2023, I contacted the Lufkin Police Department to find out about Officer Jeremy Charvos, Officer Caleb Forrest, and Detective David Cross. The department informed me that Jeremy Charvos is no longer with their police force, while Officer Caleb Forrest is still an active member of the Lufkin Police Department. To my surprise, I discovered that Detective David Cross has been promoted to the position of Assistant Police Chief within the Lufkin Police Department. Additionally, in January of 2023, Constable Tom Selman assumed the role of Sheriff for Angelina County. In the end, Joshua Frazier had no choice but to appoint a public defender to represent him during the court proceedings. Throughout the process leading up to his court date, his attorney persistently encouraged him to accept various plea deals. Under immense pressure and fearing the prospect of a lengthy jail sentence that could jeopardize his job, Mr. Frazier would reluctantly agree. He entered a plea of no contest and was required to pay a fine of $390. Every day, and we are trying to make it just 
like y'all are trying to make. We all as people should be treated equal and the same. And if you have more money than us, instead of being against us, try to help us. Make sense of the situation, because I'm not going to just say Black Lives Matter. Yes, it do matter, but every life matter. But us Black people, we struggle in general with everything, with job, the laws, the system, being underpaid. It's just not right. And we are tired. That's what I have to say about it.